Good morning. This briefing has been put together as a quick review of last evening's weather and a preview of what may happen later today across the region. Here's a map of the preliminary rainfall amounts that came into our office, valid the evening of September 7, 2013, through the early morning of September 8, 2013. A cursory glance shows the most intense rainfall totals were in and around Billings, as well as in the far eastern portions of the state. In the next few slides, we'll take a look at the storms that went through the Billings area and what weather can be expected later today. Let's take a look at a radar reflectivity image during the height of the severe thunderstorm near Billings the evening of September 7, 2013. The particular image shown is from 9.26 p.m. The area highlighted was the location of the most intense rainfall. The NWS Billings received numerous reports of hail, strong winds, and intense rainfall including the flooding of some streets and small debris flow around town during this time. Strong lightning activity was very evident at the height of last evening's storm. Each of the yellow barbs on the image shown represents a single lightning strike. This particular image is a conglomeration of lightning strikes in and around Billings from around 8.45 p.m. through 9.30 p.m. September 7th. In cases similar to these, when subtropical moisture is prevalent, the number of lightning strikes can sometimes be correlated with very intense rainfall. Why was the rainfall so intense? Well, one particular reason was the presence of an unprecedented amount of moisture available at upper levels of the atmosphere. Over the course of the past week, numerical models had been hinting at near-historic values of precipitable water over the northern Rockies. In cases like these, if a mechanism is present to generate convection, i.e. a boundary, the amount of rainfall produced can be significant over a very short period of time. Rainfall rates are of particular interest here, as those values may give a better indication of what the potential effects may be. The image shown is the instantaneous precipitation rate valid at 9.12 p.m. on September 7th. The values in dark orange are representative of radar estimated precipitation rates of greater than 6 inches per hour. The textual data below that shows how quickly rain accumulated at Logan International Airport in Billings between 9.08 and 9.37 p.m. due to these incredible rainfall rates. What can we look forward to today? Similar weather can be expected from locations from Billings eastward this afternoon and evening. The image shown here is the quantitative precipitation forecast valid today, Sunday, September 8th, through Monday, September 9th. While the highest amounts shown are forecast in North Dakota, values greater than half an inch over much of southeastern Montana are also very important. With the amount of rain received across the region over the past day or so, antecedent conditions such as very moist soil can cause havoc for travel and in burn scar areas from previous wildfires. Please keep an eye to the sky as this very fluid weather situation progresses throughout the day today. Thank you for listening, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.